Hi, this is Dr. Hyman. Welcome back to my blog. Today we're going to talk about toxins. Why are you a toxic waste dump and what can you do about it? The role of toxins and detoxification health is ignored by medicine. But thankfully, scientists and practitioners are starting to recognize the importance of toxins in health and disease. How can we not be affected by the 6 million pounds of mercury emissions a year, toxic in parts per million, and the 2.5 billion pounds of the 80,000 other toxic chemicals that are released every year into the environment? The average newborn baby has 287 known toxins in their umbilical cord blood. But how do you know if you're toxic? Well, many of you probably have symptoms of chronic toxicity that you don't label as being toxic. I'm going to just provide a short list, and if any of these sound familiar, keep in mind that detoxifying might be critical for you to get healthy and feel good again. Maybe you have fatigue or muscle aches or joint pain or sinus congestion or postnasal drip or sinus problems, headaches, bloating, gas, constipation, diarrhea, bad smelling stools, heartburn, sleep problems, trouble concentrating, brain fog, food cravings, water retention. Maybe you have trouble losing weight or rashes or skin problems or eczema or psoriasis or canker sores or acne or maybe you have those puffy dark circles under your eyes or maybe you have PMS or bad breath. So if you have any of these symptoms, it's very possible that you're toxic. Now when you hear the word detox, you might think of drug detox or alcohol detox or wheatgrass enemas. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm referring to the science of how our bodies get rid of waste. If waste builds up, we get sick. And the key is to figure out how to enhance our body's capacity to detoxify and then get rid of the waste while minimizing our exposure to toxins. And why is this so important? Well, it's important because many of the diseases of our society are actually related to toxicity. Here's a few diseases that we know are linked to toxins and toxicity. Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, ADD, depression and mood disorders, insomnia, heart disease, obesity, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, cancers, autoimmune diseases, arthritis, food allergies, digestive disorders like Crohn's and ulcers and colitis, menstrual problems like heavy bleeding, cramps, PMS, menopausal symptoms, mood changes, and hot flashes. It might seem that everybody's toxic, and that may be true to differing degrees. In fact, every single one of you, if you had a fat biopsy, would be found to have very high levels of toxins in your fat tissue. Now, problems with detoxification is one of the roots of illness and one of the core systems in the body that must be working for you to be healthy. If you feel lousy, it's likely you're toxic. Now, it's important to understand why we're toxic and how we can detoxify. I'm going to explain how you can detoxify in a moment, but first I want to tell you about where toxins come from and how we're so overloaded. To understand toxicity, you must understand the concept of the total load. This is the total amount of stressors on your system at any one time. It's sort of like what happens when a glass is filling over with water. It takes a certain amount to fill the glass, and then after a certain point, you put more in and it overflows. Now, when our detoxification system is overwhelmed, it's overloaded. That's when we start getting symptoms and get sick. But it may take years and years of accumulated stress and toxins to get us to that point. The total load includes the load of things like heavy metals, mercury, lead, petrochemical residues, pesticides, and fertilizers. It also includes food allergens and environmental allergies, molds and mold toxins. It includes our SAD diet, which is the standard American diet. It includes stress, the mental, emotional, and spiritual toxins that affect us, the isolation, the loneliness, the anger, the jealousy, and the hostility, all of which translate into toxins in our system. Also, medications can be toxins. Often we need medications, but the reality is that most of us are over-medicated and use medications for things for which there are better solutions, such as lifestyle and diet. And lastly, there are internal toxins, things like bacteria, fungus, yeast, that are inside our gut that may be affecting us, as well as hormonal and metabolic toxins that we need to eliminate. Now, why aren't we all sick given this incredible load of toxins? It's because each of us is genetically and biochemically unique. Some of us are good at getting rid of toxins and waste, and others aren't. I'm not. That's why I developed chronic fatigue syndrome. I became overloaded with mercury, and I couldn't get rid of it. It's because I'm missing a specific gene called GSTM1, a critical detoxifying gene that helps get rid of mercury and other toxins. By learning to support my own detoxification system and learning how to detoxify, I was able to cure myself from an incurable condition. Now, there are five steps for optimal detoxification. Here they are. Step one, identify and get rid of toxins. Step two, 
Fix your gut, which is a source of toxic load for many. Step three, get moving. You've got to help your blood and your lymph circulation do its job. Step four, get your liver and your detox system working optimally. And step five, detoxify your mind, heart, and spirit. So let me make it more practical for you. I can summarize them into 10 basic principles of detoxification, and here they are. Just follow these and you'll be well on your way to being healthy and detoxified. First, drink plenty of clean water, at least 8 to 10 glasses of filtered water a day. Two, keep your bowels moving at least once or twice a day. And if you can't get going, then you need some help. And this can include taking two tablespoons of ground flax seeds, taking acidophilus, using magnesium citrate capsules, and many other things. Now, if you have any chronic diseases or chronic problems, you might have to be careful about taking certain supplements and you should work with your doctor. You should also eat organic produce and animal products to eliminate toxins, hormones, and antibiotics in your food. You should also eat eight to 10 servings of colorful fruits and vegetables and specifically include every day the family of cruciferous vegetables. That's the broccoli, collards, kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, arugula, and so forth. As well as the garlic family, garlic and onions, which help increase sulfur in the body and help detoxification. Next, I want you to avoid stimulants, sedatives, and drugs like caffeine and nicotine and try to reduce your alcohol intake. Also, exercise five days a week with a focus on conditioning of your heart and cardiovascular system and strengthening exercises and stretching exercises. Next, I want you to get rid of white flour and white sugar, what I call the white menace, which are toxins in and of themselves. Sugar is the single biggest cause of hepatitis in this country, we call NASH or fatty liver, affecting 70 million Americans. Take a high quality multivitamin and mineral. And lastly, relax deeply every day to get your nervous system in a state of calm and rest and relaxation. Now the comprehensive program I just outlined here will help you correct problems caused by toxicity. It will help maximize your body's own detoxification capacity and help you safely eliminate stored toxins. Depending on your symptoms, your genetic predispositions and environmental exposures, you may each need different levels of nutrients and types of treatment. But remember, getting rid of toxins and learning how to optimize your detoxification system is essential for creating optimal health, or what I call ultra-wellness.